Exercise 4.2. First, a shooter miss his target in the last 10 trial by the following distribution during the practice session. Here is the numbers are given and here they are asked to find a quartile deviation and coefficient of quartile deviation of such distance missed by the shooter. So first of all, let me remind you about the formula of quartile deviation. Quartile deviation formula is Q3 minus Q1 divide by 2. Now first of all here out of this raw data first we'll find out Q3 and Q1. Hope you all have remembered the formula of raw data. Here is the formula page from the last chapter. Here we are going to find out quartiles. Quartiles, जब हम raw data या discrete frequency distribution में से solve कर रहे हैं, तब याद रखना कि ये formula हम use करेंगे. और अभी फिलहाल तो हम raw data ढूंढने वाले हैं, तो we'll use this formula. And when it is continuous frequency distribution, that time we'll take the big formula. फिलहाल तो हम यही use करने वाले हैं, क्योंकि quartile deviation में ढूंढना Q3 भी है और Q1 भी. तो सबसे पहले Q1 ढूंढने से पहले remember arrange the observation in ascending order. याद है आपको ये जब हम ढूंढते थे ये सारे ऑर्डर्स पहले हम सारे ऑब्जर्वेशन को असेंडिंग ऑर्डर में अरेंज करते थे यहां पर भी हम करेंगे सबसे लोएस्ट वाला है 15 देन आई कैन सी 18 देन 20 देन 24 25 27 32 35 36 and 40. So the number of observation is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So n hai hamara 10. Now on this base first we will find out quartile 1. That is value of j n plus 1 divided by 4th observation. So here j will be the value कौन सा क्वार्टाइल ढूंढ रहे हो वो नंबर तो 1 ढूंढ रहे हैं हम लोग n है 10 plus 1 divide by 4th observation so the value of 10 plus 1 will be 11 upon 4th observation so out of this calculation of 11 divide by 4 here we get 2.75th observation अब जब पॉइंट में आंसर आए तो आपको क्या करना है पहले आपको वैल्यू ऑफ सेकंड ऑब्जर्वेशन लेना है बिकॉज़ सेकंड इज रिटन फर्स्ट सेकंड ऑब्जर्वेशन प्लस करना है पॉइंट 0.75 एंड यहां पे सेकंड ऑब्जर्वेशन है तो पहले आपको लेना है थर्ड ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट वैल्यू ऑफ थर्ड ऑब्जर्वेशन माइनस सेकंड ऑब्जर्वेशन so second observation पहले ढूंढने जाओ यहाँ पे है 18 just write down 18 plus 0.75 then third observation is 20 minus 18 so 18 plus 20 minus 18 will be 2 2 multiply by 0.75 here we get 1.50 now add with this will be 19.50 so here we found Q1. In the same way we'll find out Q3. That is the value of J n plus 1 divided by fourth observation. Now the J is 3 n that is 10 plus 1 divided by fourth observation. value of 3 11 upon 4th and the calculation of 11 upon 4 here we found 2.75 this is what we found right 11 divided by 4 now this get multiplied by 3 so here we get value of get them multiply your answer will be 8.25 8.25th observation so again here we are going to take first value of 8th observation plus 0.25 8 यहां पर है तो यहां पर क्या लेंगे 9th observation minus 8th observation 
so eighth observation one two three four five six seven eight that is thirty five plus point twenty five and the ninth observation obviously is next thirty six minus thirty five. रिमेंबर पीछे से आप कैलकुलेशन करना 35 माइनस थर्टी ऑब्वियसली वन बचेगा वन मल्टीप्लाई बाई जीरो पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव इट रिमेन जीरो पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव अब इसको एड कर दो थर्टी फाइव के साथ तो थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट्स वॉट दी आंसर वी गॉट आउट ऑफ क्यू थ्री नाउ वी कैन किप द फॉर्मूला ऑफ क्वार्टाइल डेविएशन दैट इज क्यू थ्री माइनस क्यू वन डिवाइड बाई टू क्यू थ्री वी फाउंड थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस Point fifty divide by two. First of all, get them minus. Here you will get fifteen point seventy five divide by two, and the final answer is seven point eighty eight. Next, we'll find out coefficient of quartile deviation will be Q three minus Q one upon Q three plus Q one. So we're just going to take the same value over here. Five minus nineteen point fifty, thirty-five point twenty-five plus nineteen point fifty. So on the subtraction, here we get fifteen point seventy-five, and on the addition of this two number, we'll get fifty-four point seventy-five, and on this calculation, we'll get zero point twenty-nine. Hope you understand the steps. Moving to the next question. Find the quartile deviation of coefficient of quartile deviation. In now you can see in the textbook also. Here the question is given in the discrete information. अब आपको discrete के साथ frequency add on करनी. अब frequency आ जाए तो आपको याद होगा हम cumulative frequency ढूंढेंगे. और वो कैसे ढूंढते हैं? पहला column four, then four plus seven will be eleven. Eleven plus fifteen will be twenty six. Plus eight thirty four. Plus Seven will be forty one plus two forty three, and the number of frequency will be our n. Now again, remember we again we are this is discrete frequency distribution. Is ko ham kya on same formation bolte hain discrete. Again discrete mein hume aise hi find out karna hai for Q three and Q one. Yehi formula use hogi. Ye wali formula. ऑलवेज रिमेंबर कि कंटिन्यूस फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दे तब भी सिर्फ हमको यूज करनी है इवन इन द डिस्क्रेट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस वन सो फर्स्ट लेट मी कीप क्यू वन नाउ द वैल्यू ऑफ एन दैट इज टोटल नंबर ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी फोर्टी थ्री प्लस वन डिवाइड बाई फोर्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन Now the value of forty four upon fourth observation, and here we get value of eleventh observation. Now for this, go back to the cumulative frequency column and see where the eleven number will come. यहाँ पे directly eleven दे दिया. कितने बार ज़्यादा कम भी होता है. जैसे कि ten या twelve होता. Ten होता तो हम दूसरे numbers पे जाते. पर twelve होता तो यहाँ पे ही हम आते. Or it's coincidentally it came eleven. So directly go to the observation. So here we found Q one is twenty marks. Same like this. We'll again find out Q three. That is the value of n plus one upon fourth. Remember, ये three quartile है तो यहाँ पे three रखना मत भूलना. The observation. Value of three and n is forty three plus one divided by fourth observation. Yeah, forty three plus one forty four divided by four. Here we'll get eleventh observation and the multiplication of eleven with three that is thirty three observation. For observation we have to go cumulative frequency. 26 में नहीं आएगा 33, 34 में आ जाएगा सो जस्ट मार्क इट एंड टेक इट फॉर द क्यू थ्री वी गेट दी फोर्टी मार्क्स नाउ यर वी ऑलरेडी हैव क्यू वन एंड क्यू थ्री नाउ विल फाइंड आउट क्वार्टर डेविएशन एंड 
and formula is Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. So first we'll keep the value of Q3 that is 40 and for Q1 20. 40 minus 20 divided by 2 that is 20 divided by 2 and here the answer we got quartile deviation 10 that is marks. The next step is to find out coefficient of quartile deviation. And to formula to find out quartile deviation, coefficient of quartile deviation is Q3 minus Q1, Q3 plus Q1. So here 40 minus 20 upon 40 plus 20. 40 minus 20 will be 20 and 40 plus 20 will be 60. And here the final answer by dividing you will get 1 upon or directly we will write down 0 0.33. Here we complete the second question moving to the next. Third question the distribution of amount paid by 200 customers coming for snacks at a restaurant on a particular day is given below. Here you can see the information now it is given a continuous frequency distribution and out of this ask you to find out quartile division and coefficient of quartile division of the amount paid by customer on the day. So now out of this here I already wrote the information now for continuous frequency here first we will find out cumulative frequency. So let's add on take 25 plus 40 65 plus 80 145 145 plus 30 will be 175 175 plus 25 will be 200 so here our end will be 200 for the frequency now here always remember that when you have continuous frequency distribution then here our formula to find out quartile will be this the big formula but here when you have lowest frequency uh, lower limit then you have to be careful that this जो कॉलम आपको कंटीन्यूअस फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन जो दिया है वो एक्सक्लूसिव इंफॉर्मेशन में हो तो डायरेक्टली ले सकते हैं और अगर इंक्लूसिव में है तो -0.5 करना मत भूलना सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस नाउ व्हेन वी हैव टू कंटिन्यू विद द कंटीन्यूअस फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हियर फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड आउट फॉर द Q1 वैल्यू ऑफ n अपॉन फोर्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन This time remember कि plus one नहीं करना है जब आप continuous frequency के लिए find out कर रहे हो या तो बड़ा formula use कर रहे हो उस time पे plus one नहीं करना है सिर्फ raw data और discrete के time पे ही plus one होता है so here value of j is one as we are finding quartile one and two hundred divide by fourth observation now on the calculation we'll get value of 50th observation so after getting this answer go to the cumulative frequency column 25 come here compared to 50 here we get the 65 this will be the column where we are going to take all other information lower limit L will be 50 frequency will be 40 or cumulative frequency matab uske upar wala CF और क्लास लेंथ 50 और 100 के बीच का डिस्टेंस C विल बी 50. Now let's keep the big formula here. L plus n upon 4 j minus cumulative frequency upon frequency into 100. Lower limit अभी हमने ढूंढी that is 50. At j n upon 4 ये अभी हमने कैलकुलेट किया जिसके बेस पे हमने और अदर इनफॉरमेशन कलेक्ट की so 50 minus cumulative frequency will be 25 divide by frequency that is 40 into this will be C not 100 C C जो हमने अभी ढूंढा that is 50 again 50 को as it is रखना है इसको हाथ मत लगाना पहले ये वाला calculation खत्म करना 50 minus 25 will be 25 divide by 40 into 50 50 plus now first get them divide 25 divide by 40 and multiply by okay chal, 25 uh, on the division of 25 divided by 40 here I get 0 0.625 so main yahan pe bana rahi 63 then multiply by 50 so 50 plus get them multiply 
that is 3 1.25 now add with 50 here you will get 81.25 so here we complete to find out q1 now we'll find out q3 so here again value of j n upon fourth observation now here j will be third quartile dundra so j will be 3 n will be 200 divide by fourth observation keep 3 as it is the division of this we get 50 15 to 3 obviously 150th observation now 150 find out where is the 150 25 come here 65 become here 145 become here but 175 is the cumulative frequency jaha se the number match hoga. so here lower limit will be 150 frequency will be 30 uske upar wala number will be a cumulative frequency and the class length as a usual 50 that is 150 minus 200 here we get the class length 50 let's keep the value first keep the formula l plus n upon 4 j minus cf upon frequency into c now the lower limit here is 150 Plus the calculation of this we get 150 minus cf that is 145 divide by frequency that is 30 into 50 now back again 150 plus if we get them minus we'll get 5 upon 30 divide by 50 150 plus 5 divide by 30 here we get 0 0.1666 to 0 0.17 kar do into 50 that is 150 plus 8.33 by adding with 150 the answer will be 158.33 so after this now we'll find out quartile deviation and the formula is q3 minus q1 divided by 2 here we found the Q3 is 158.33 minus Q1 81.25 and divide by 2. First get them subtract. You will get the answer 77.08 divide by 2. You will get 38.54. The next is to find out coefficient of quartile deviation. And the formula is q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1. So here we get 158.33 minus 81.25. Same down but with addition 81.25. On the subtraction obviously we will get 77.08. Remember when you are directly le rahe ho, divide by 2 wala answer mat le rahe na. subtraction wala number. Le na. So 77.08 and by adding this to 1. Uh, that is 239.58 on the division we will get 0.32 here we complete the exercise 4.2 moving to the next to find out mean deviation